viewers of Sounding Board, and today we're going to talk about Mr. Roboto, or Roboto. From the Series 2 line of Master Universe Origins. That's what his back looks like. Built to be mighty and programmed to be courageous. Roboto protects his friends and defends Eternia. Woo! -hoo. And now in this series we have Shira, Roboto, Zodak, and Man at all, uh, not and Merman. And we still got He Man and Skeletor to go up the aisles. They could have used those two slots to put new versions of Skeletor and He Man. But no, it's the same one. But let's take a look at what Roboto has to offer. Ooh, everyone's Roboto in the universe is one up a whole, whole notch. Dimension of Doom. Dimensional Doom. This is a new comic. So Zodak plays a part in it, Roboto, and she runs in one panel. Oh wow. I thought she'd be the main character because it's dimensional. Ugh. Let's pull Roboto out of his package. Ah, oh, dang. I thought the dude. Oh, he's tied in. There it goes. This time. There he goes. Here's a baggie with Roboto's parts. And they taped the hell out of this one. There it goes. So we got his claw and his laser, which needs to be bent back into place slightly from the way it was packaged. And here is Roboto, a fully posable version, who has needs his hand refolded. It looks like he has itty bitty little fingers. There it goes. I'm surprised Mattel chose to make him. He was late, way later in the line. Especially since there's no trap jaw. Cause him and trap jaw came out about the same time. We never, ha I never had him. I got him in a secondary market and found his parts in multiple flea market bits. This is the first Roboto I've actually opened. But his gears do move like the old version. So you can make him go sing. Domo Ericato, Mr. Roboto. Domo. Domo. Domo Ericato, Mr. Roboto. Domo. Domo. So now your, your He-Man figures has a robot to help defend Eternia. Yeah. 
his ankles don't move as good as like the other characters. Oh wow, he does have the odd spinning uh, thigh. He doesn't have it up here. He has it down here. But he is kind of cool when it comes down to it because who doesn't like Mr. Roboto? Always liked him with the laser hand. I never cared for the, the, the uh, axe or the little itty bitty claw. It was just so odd of a choice for a claw hand when they could have just given him another hand. Because Roboto needs the hand, the robot hand, to fight for justice. So what do you think of Mr. Roboto? Do you like him? Do you think he's kind of cool? I kind of mumbled and was more fascinated playing with him and moving him around and actually reviewing him. Other than the fact that, like I said, I didn't have him when he first came out. I got him as a secondary figure, you know, from a flea market pile and then found the joints at multiple uh, booths over time. Did you have the figure when he came out? Did you enjoy playing with him? Did you have mighty adventures with Roboto and He-Man? Or did you just have Roboto and he fought all of Skeletor's hordes by himself because he's a robot. Let me know. I'd be curious to hear what you have to say about it. But well, it's kind of cool they gave him the gear, the gear chest, though. So I wonder when Trapjaw is going to come out. So until next time, this is the sounding board signing off.